these top stories, polar bears in peril, and how climate change threatens an entire species. What Connecticut can do to get the Nogtuck River back to its prime, and how deforestation threatens our future, and what we can do to stop it. Good afternoon, I'm April Brulette, and this is CCC News. Now to our top story. Climate change is one of the most significant threats to polar bears. For centuries, polar bears have called the Arctic Circle home, but that home is now being threatened. Melting polar ice caps associated with climate change is reducing the amount of ice that bears use as hunting grounds for food. A group of area teens is using humor to show the plight of the polar bear. They hope to educate people about reducing reliance on fossil fuels and other methods of sustainability that might help restore the bear's habitat. They hope that humor will help people understand that each one of us can do something to help the polar bears. In other news, the Naugatuck River is an important source for water, commerce, and recreation for Naugatuck Valley. It joins with the Housatonic River and flows to the Long Island Sound, making it a vital part of the natural habitat in southern New England. For a period of time in the 1970s, the river filled with toxic pollutants, destroying any wildlife living and depending on it. This once majestic and beautiful part of our region is in better shape than it was in the 1970s. However, there is much more to be done. And in other related news, deforestation, especially in the fragile rainforest areas, could be considered the source of the very air we breathe. Every year, millions of acres of rainforest are lost to make room for grazing land, housing, or industry. It is very easy for us to forget how our actions affect the generations that come after us. The destruction that deforestation inflicts upon our world must be stressed because of the importance trees have to our future existence on Earth. This has been April Brulette from CCC News. Please stay tuned for more top stories after a word from our sponsors. As a company, we felt it was important to invest in the environment and in our impact on the environment. So everything from solar to the recycled concrete floors, our landscaping even. All of these, we feel, in the long run, will pay off financially. They'll certainly break even financially, but instantly they paid off as far as our conscience of being members of the community. I like to put it in these terms, this is an 80,000 foot facility that draws electricity or uses electricity about the same as an 8,000 foot facility. I would say on average here, the panels are producing peak power about four hours a day, and then that might go up to 6.87 hours during the summer. 